Salutations everyone, Shadow Taurus here returning to another epic power scaling video. And today we have a rather intriguing power scaling topic that I've been thinking about for quite some time. But before we get to the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, as well click the notification bell to get notified when I upload. With the highly anticipated Assassin's Creed Mirage set to join the Brotherhood later this year, there's no better time to revisit one of my favorite game franchises, that being the iconic Assassin's Creed series. And what legendary assassin story should we dive into today? Well, none other than the fan favorite Italian stallion himself, Ezio Auditore de Firenze. This man needs no introduction. But as a quick refresher, Ezio's the rugged, charming mentor who leapt across rooftops and stole hearts in Assassin's Creed games of yore. Today we'll be scaling this iconic character and analyzing his most impressive feats. When was Ezio's peak? Well, it's debatable between Brotherhood and Revelations. So we'll be assessing his journey across those seminal titles as well as his origins in Assassin's Creed 2 and any relevant spin-offs. Join me as we evaluate this legendary mentor and what he's really capable of. There's a lot to unpack here with Ezio's skill set, so strap in everybody, this is going to be epic scaling of the Brotherhood's most dashing dagger wielder. When analyzing Ezio's capabilities, speed is a key factor. This legendary assassin showcased some seriously swift reflexes and mobility during his journey. Our first example actually comes from Assassin's Creed Embers. In this animated movie, an older Ezio demonstrates very impressive speed by grabbing and dashing fellow assassin Xiao Jun, saving her from a blistering hand cannon shot. This shows Ezio's reactions are very sharp even in his later years. We also see him training Xiao Jun in adeptly dodging bullet fire in Chronicles, evidence that Ezio's peak younger self should be even faster still. This skill is consistent with other Isu hybrid assassins in the franchise who repeatedly display the ability to react and avoid musket fire. Looking back at his early days, Ezio shows great athletic gifts in Assassin's Creed 2 Discovery. Here he is able to deftly deflect arrows from point blank range and out race hailstorms of arrow targeting him on multiple occasions. This mastery of motion puts reflexes and speed potentially in the range of 4 times the speed of sound, or supersonic plus levels. Now let's speculate on some higher end scaling to really test the limits of Ezio's capabilities. Now I do want to let you all know that this scaling could be considered wank, but there is an argument to be made for them, so do use at your own risk. Now, the Assassin's Creed universe notably shares continuity with the Watch Dogs franchise, as evidenced by the character Darcy Clarkson. Darcy possesses assassin training and eagle vision, marking her as a fellow Isu hybrid. In Watch Dog Legion, she's shown being able to react to and dodge light-based projectiles from a drone, implying relativistic combat speed. While this level of speed may not be universal, characters like Cassandra from Assassin's Creed Odyssey show similar levels of speed. She's shown reacting to mythological figures who wield light-based attacks like Medusa. So there is an argument to be made of scaling the very best of the assassins like Ezio to relativistic levels, though it is on the extreme high-end interpretations of their feats. In summary, Ezio displays enhanced speed and reaction consistently ranging from supersonic up to relativistic speeds at his peak. But raw speed is not the only crucial ability. Ezio also wields very impressive strength that pairs with his agility to make him a very lethal well-rounded fighter. Ezio's physical strength and striking power are not explicitly quantified in the Assassin's Creed games, but analyzing key events and scaling provides a clearer picture. As one of the most elite assassins and a descendant from Adam and Eve themselves, Ezio stands comfortably among the top tier in the franchise in terms of pure raw physical strength. Firstly, Ezio should logically scale above the average Isu hybrids and mythological creatures such as the Minotaur, who can casually obliterate giant ancient stone pillars with a single stomp. This type of casual structural damage points Ezio to being at least in the small building level ranges of striking power. Further evidence comes from Ezio battling alongside his clones crafted by the Apple of Eden. The Apple of Eden is infamous for being able to amplify someone's physical capabilities, and it even allows its wielder to overpower people like Altair, Bayak, and even Cassandra. But he was not only able to fight alongside these clones and damage Rodrigo Borgia, who we will get to in a moment, but he was doing this while not actively wielding the Apple of Eden himself. Being able to fight alongside beings of this level, to a degree, should solidify Ezio as one of the top tier assassins outright. Ezio's raw power is additionally displayed against Rodrigo Borgia, who wields the palpable staff of Eden in their encounter. This staff made by the Isu drastically enhances the physicality of its user. Still, Ezio was able to not only damage but injure Rodrigo in direct combat. For Ezio to trade blows with an artifact empowered opponent places him firmly in the small building tier of attack potency at a minimum. And of course, we can't discuss Ezio's capabilities without touching on his extensive combat skill and mastery as an assassin. With decades of intensive training under his belt, Ezio displays impressive martial arts prowess and stealth capabilities. A prime example of this is shown in Assassin's Creed of Revelations, where Ezio single-handedly takes on an entire army of Templar forces. 
While he is eventually overwhelmed due to extenuating circumstances, the fact that he charges into battle so drastically at numbers and holds his own for so long is a testament to his fighting abilities that far surpass any normal person. In addition to raw combat skill, Ezio leverages his stealth with extraordinary effectiveness as a master assassin. He is capable of infiltrating even heavily guarded strongholds completely undetected, using both his parkour mobility and crowds to vanish before the eyes of specialized guards. His ability to blend in and disappear surpasses most even renowned stealth-based protagonists in fiction. In summary, Ezio's versatility as a fighter from martial arts mastery to elite infiltration skills is befitting of a high rank assassin at the peak of the Brotherhood's training regimen. His prowess showcases lethal blends of stealth, combat, and mobility at the core of Assassin's Creed. But that's it for Ezio Aditore de Firenze. If you liked the video, make sure to smash the like button, comment your thoughts down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Until we meet again, good luck in your power scaling endeavors.